Hey everyone, in this video we have the Garmin 4Runner 10, the 4Runner 220, and the 4Runner 620. We're going to take a look at some of the similarities and differences between these three running watches. Starting with the displays, the Garmin 4Runner 10 has a black and white display. It is controlled by four push buttons around the outside of the watch. The 4Runner 220 is going to give you a color display. It's also a push button unit, but it's going to give you five buttons instead of four. The extra button is your up arrow, so when navigating the menus, you can scroll up or down. The 4Runner 10 is only going to give you a down arrow, so you will have to scroll all the way down to get back up to the top. Forerunner 620, like the 220, has a color display, but it has a touch screen interface in addition to the four buttons around the outside. Looking at the size of these models, the Forerunner 220 and 620, if not identical in size, are extremely close to it. The Forerunner 10 is a little bit larger and a little bit thicker. The Forerunner 10 also has more of a fixed band. The 220 and the 620 have a hinge on each side of the watch, so it will fit your wrist a little bit better. The Forerunner 10 is also available in two different sizes. The 220 and the 620 are one size fits all. Looking at some of the features here, starting with the Forerunner 10, this is going to give you the basics for a recreational runner, like running time, pace, distance, and calories burned. It's even going to give you a little bit more than the basics with auto lap, auto pause, and virtual pacer. You can change the data fields to display a few different preset pairs with each screen displaying two data fields. The Forerunner 220 is going to give you all of the features of the Forerunner 10, plus it adds Ant Plus sensors, which means you can use it with a heart rate monitor. It has a built-in accelerometer, so you can use it for indoor training without a foot pod. And you can upload your data wirelessly to the Garmin Connect smartphone app via Bluetooth Smart or with the USB charging clip. The Forerunner 220 also has a live tracking feature where others can see where you are on your run, and this is also going to require a smartphone with Bluetooth Smart. The Forerunner 10, as I mentioned, will give you two data fields per screen. The Forerunner 220 will give you three. The Forerunner 620 will give you all of the features of the 220, plus things like Recovery Advisor, which advises you on the time needed between your workouts, and VO2 Max, which is the maximum volume of oxygen your body can consume per minute. You can add a Garmin HRM Run heart rate monitor. With it, it's going to give you metrics like running cadence, vertical oscillation, and ground contact time. The Forerunner 620 can display up to four data fields per screen, and you can upload your data to Garmin Connect with the USB charging clip through the Garmin Connect smartphone app, or you can also sync your data via Wi-Fi. So that is a quick look at some of the similarities and differences between the Garmin Forerunner 10, 220, and 620.